What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share something special with you guys. I'm going to introduce you guys to Neo. I'm going to let you guys know what games are going to be available for Neo when you'll be able to get it and also how to set this up. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned to this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share this video if you think it will help others. Let's get into this. So what is Neo? Neo is the first Netflix-like subscription cloud gaming VR service. Neo has safe continuity, so no matter when you play or where you play, your save data is ready whenever you are. So this is what Neo looks like when you've set everything up with Virgin Desktop. Again, I'm going to explain how to do that in a bit, but just want to showcase what Neo actually is and what it looks like inside. And as you can see here, these are the games that are going to be supported day one when the service launch. So as you can see, we have Half-Life Alex, we have Rec Room, we have VR Shot, we have Blade and Sorcery, we have No Man's Skies, and other great ones as well. As time goes by, more games are gonna be added to the service. With Neo, you have safe continuity, so no matter where you play or when you play, your save data is ready whenever you are. Neo has the most popular titles like Blade and Sorcery, Half-Life Alex. Works and No Man's Skies. All of your rigs has been fine-tuned to give you the maximum performance for no motion sickness and minimal latency. As soon as you book a session with Neo, you're guaranteed the time that you selected. All you need is an Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 and Virgin Desktop on the Oculus Store. Virgin Desktop is your ticket to connect to Neo. With Neo, you don't need to purchase any games that you want to play. It's a pay-as-you-go service where you can play the games that are available on Neo without having to purchase them. Neo is set to launch late Q1, early Q2, most likely within March. When talking about pricing, the dev stated that it's going to be $5 per hour per session, but they're still working on the pricing. So you guys let them know in the comments what your thoughts are on that price. And if you guys think that it should be more affordable, Put that in the comments below and if you guys think the price is right let them know as well in the comments below because they are going to be watching this video as well if you were interested and you would like to take advantage of the service the dev said that they're going to soon start booking so they want you to get on your website which they are finalizing now and soon would be available and get on the wait list and you should be notified when the service is available the devs also wanted me to let you guys know that this is still in beta and things are likely to change so they're still working on finalizing pricing the amount of time that you're gonna get what neo's actually gonna look like so there's still a lot of work the devs are really interested in your feedback so make sure you leave that in the comments below because they will be watching this video as well help them shape this to be something awesome now i'm going to give you guys my overall impression this can actually end up being something special now i've tried shadow vr and this has some advantages that shadow doesn't for instance the fact that you don't have to go and purchase a game outright i know some people might not like the pricing but if you don't have $60 to purchase a game like Half-Life Alex outright, just paying $5 and who knows if that's going to be the final price. It might be three, might be two. Again, that's why it's important for you guys to let the devs know in the comments below what pricing you want to see with this, right? But again, renting your games out, playing, getting a fun experience, and then when you're done, you're done. The thing with VR is most games you don't go back to play if it doesn't have multiple elements. So if you just want to experience the latest and greatest in VR, this is not a bad option. And this is just the beginning of services like this. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. Another benefit that I think this has over Shadow is the fact that you don't have to worry about downloading the games, right? You don't have to worry about the latest patches. You just put this on and the game is ready for you to go. Think about GeForce Now, think about Google Stadia. It's similar to that. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you guys today. Let the devs know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Again, they're reading your feedback. Also, I'm going to showcase some gameplay footage of Half-Life Alex and No Man's Sky running on this platform. You guys be the judge. You can see it looks really well and it plays really well. Didn't have any issues with this, with latency at all. All right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.
we good? Yep, they got the reactor. Easy peasy. I'm headed back to the safe house right now to meet Dad. Go. We'll be in touch. Stay safe. Ah. Ah.